Hey everyone, Noshi here. So for the past couple of days, my car has been sitting down in the garage, um, hood up, uh, just haven't driven it or anything like that. Pretty much I've been uh, making a list of all the parts I need to um, work on my car. So currently when I'm working on my car, I don't like to do things twice. So I try to find like the most efficient route of uh, changing everything without having to uh, do extra work. So since my spark plugs need changing and I need to do my valve cover gasket, so I'm like, okay, let me do all that at the same time. Plus change out the oil filter gasket since I'm it's pretty much right there also. And then I can pretty much get an oil change and change the oil filter and all that other good stuff. So at the end of the day, I'll have a valve cover gasket change, the oil filter housing gasket change and an oil change with an oil filter and brand new spark plugs. So yeah, uh, it should be running pretty good afterwards. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So yesterday I ordered um, mostly all my parts. I was pretty much cross shopping um, across different sites that things like take some minutes sometimes, but hey, I like to make my money stretch the farthest it can go. So luckily I just went ahead and just, um, ordered everything off of Amazon Prime at the end of the day. So some of the stuff should be here today. Um, and then I believe the spark plugs would come on Friday. No, no, Thursday of this day. So it's like two days and then the next one is next day or something like that. Either way, spark plugs will be here on Thursday, um, which will be tomorrow. All right, so I currently have the car um, on jack stands right now. So it's leaking out the oil, not leaking out the oil, it's draining the oil out the engine right now. Um, once that's complete, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain bolt back on and tighten it back up. Cause everything is being done on the top of the car and I don't wanna forget anything of um, leaving that bolts off. So I'm just gonna wait, put the bolts on, drop it back on the ground and then continue moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plastic um, engine cover and then start my way down till I get down to the valve cover gasket. All right, so now that the engine cover's off, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the ignition coils. So pretty much, what I gotta do is just like pop them up and it releases out the connector to it. With the mount, so next one, pop. Okay, so now that the clips um, are off and disconnected, I'm gonna have to go through all of them and just remove them. So I use something like uh, an extension or you can use like a screwdriver or something and like stick them through right here. And then pretty much the main thing is you wanna put even force pulling up. Cause sometimes if you have like old connectors, um, they'll like rip apart at the bottom. So doing it like this way, gives it a little bit more um makes it a little bit more easier so go through like that next one like that and make sure you like even with it all right, so now that the coil packs are out, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the injector electrical connectors. So pretty much to take them off, it's in two steps. Um, at the end, see how it looks like a, I don't know what to call it, but like a clip. And if you look right here, the edge, you can see where the clasp is. So you choose like a flathead screwdriver or something flattish, and then you just take it like that, and then pull up and it just unclasped off like so. So I just move it up and then reclasp it back so that I don't lose it. So it's like a locking mechanism or whatever. So behind it, let me see, you'll see like a, a clip. It's the same, it's pretty much almost the same kind of clip. So you just put the um, flathead at the tip of it, but don't apply too much pressure and then you pull up. So since I'm dealing with some electrical stuff that I don't want to break or anything like this, I'm gonna use two hands to take this off. So pretty much 
put the wedge over to the left like that, a little pressure, and then pull, just pull on it gently and it'll pull right out. Okay, so this is it right out right here. So in, out, and that's what it looks like. All right, so all you gotta do is do that for each and every single one of these, all six of them. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and um, disconnect the ground wire. So there's three of them, one here, one here, and one right back there. So it's an eight millimeter socket, so you can go ahead and um, take it off with an eight millimeter socket with like an extension or whatever. Um, I would just loosen them and then take them off take them off by hand and then once you remove the ground wire just go ahead and put the screw back on so that you don't lose it or anything okay so the next step is pretty much to just disconnect these uh plugs right here they're for the I forgot what they call this thing it's pretty much just for the boost system for the wastegate actuators or something like that so pretty much you just push down and pull up push down pull up that side also and then you could move these boost lines out the or should I say vacuum lines out the way I keep saying boost but yeah vacuum lines out the way and yours might look a little bit different because as you see I eliminated the um, boost canisters so mine's eliminated so I bypassed them so pretty much on mine I'm just gonna disconnect these right here on yours just disconnect them and just move them out the way um since I uh, disconnected right here, I'm just gonna move these and push them over to the side right there so you'll have a little bit more clearance to for when it comes time to lift the valve cover off. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take off the crank vent holes. So it's this thing right over here. So what we're gonna do is uh, you gotta take it off from this end and you gotta take off the other end right over here also. So the way I found to take it off easiest is just pretty much pull on these caps like here, like squeeze them and pull back. Like squeeze it and pull right back and it'll come right out. So it's something like, let's see if I can get it. Like that. And get it right off and then, see? Squeeze, let me see, squeeze. all off um while you have this out you might as well order a new one because most of the time these go bad and then pretty much when your car it could cause your car to smoke or whatever um pretty much what happens is it's supposed to regulate um the pressure or whatever so if you blow on each end you're supposed to hit some kind of res resistance so if you blow on air just goes straight through you can hear it's bad like mine's yeah that's not how it's supposed to sound. All right, so next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, remove these ground plugs. The three ones that we did earlier, um, we'll go ahead and remove them now. So pretty much, I just took off the screws that I left on top, took them off and I stuck them um, someplace safe so I don't lose them. And then I use a number 10 um, socket. Uh, some people might be different, but mine's is a number 10, so it has to be long. So put it in there and just take them out. You might have to like jiggle them out once you finish loosening them though. So it's out right now. So once it's out, uh, pretty much I'm gonna take this other, the screw that was down, which way was it? Yeah, it was up here, put it on top so I don't lose it. And now I'm gonna do that one and then do the other one over in the rear also. Oh yeah, also forgot to mention that when you're um, first putting it, the socket down, it's gonna be pretty much, the top piece is gonna be sticking up. So when you put the um, end in, it's not gonna fully go down. So what you gotta do is you gotta go ahead and just like put it down firmly and then just put it where it like come in enough that you could like put some leverage on it to turn it. It's not gonna be fully seated in, but you can still turn it or whatever. Um, and that's the way you could get it off. It's not gonna be, shouldn't be that tight, or it should be like pretty snug down but not that tight that you'll have difficulty moving it like that. You'll need a lot of torque to take it off. Okay, so now to the fun part. I'm gonna move over to this side. So everything pretty much on this side is already taken off um, or accessories that's supposed to attach to the valve cover is off. So moving on this end, what we're gonna do is take off 
not really take off, but move out the way these um, connectors. Like all these black connectors over here, just um, move them off to the side. So, yeah. Like that. Like so, and then these connectors just turn them to the right, like so, and they'll pop right up. So, do right. And there we go. Everything off to the side, like so. All right, so next, gonna go back here um, along the fuel line. I'm gonna disconnect this uh, plug off the fuel line. I guess it's the fuel sensor or whatever. So just squeeze the tab at the back and pull back, and it'll come right off. So hang that over to the side, like so. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a, what's this, a 17? 17 millimeter and pretty much loosen the pressure in the fuel rail right here. So my car's been sitting for a couple days, so there should not be any pressure in the line, but if you haven't had it sitting, it's gonna be like spewing a little bit of gasoline around down there. So it's best to um, do this part when the car has been sitting for a long period of time. So yeah, just go ahead and like take this piece off like so. So yeah. I already pre-loosened it, so yeah. <laughs> so next what we're gonna do is disconnect the fuel rail from the injectors. So there's six injectors, so six of them we gotta disconnect. We're gonna go ahead and use a 14 millimeter and take those all off. All right, so next what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the fuel rail connectors. Uh, they pretty much hold the fuel rail in place. So it's like four bolts, one, two, and let me see, three and four back here. So I pretty much have, uh, what is this? A 7 sixteenths. Uh, yeah, it's odd, but yeah. 7 sixteenths with a silver head. You don't need a silver head on yours. I'm just, I get kind of fancy sometimes, but whatever. So all we gotta do now is uh, go ahead and remove, not remove, but loosen these two right here. Don't take them off, just loosen them. Maybe we want to loosen them because we could like move this over a little bit and move that over to that way to clear this um the filler opening. So yeah, just loosen them and just move them out the way a little bit and that should be it. All right, so now that these are loose, we can move these to the sides like that and pretty much should be able to pull up the fuel rail now. So yeah, be careful. Make sure everything is fully off, and yeah, set up like so, and we're good to go. All right, so the next thing we gotta do now is go ahead and uh, remove all the bolts on this valve cover. There's 26 of them, and we're gonna be using the E10 socket, and I got a swivel on it with an extension, so yeah, I gotta go through each and every single one of them. So when you're done, there'll be 26 uh, bolts. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the spark plugs out the sockets since now it's like um, about time to pry off this um, valve cover. So yeah, I got my burger um, spark plug tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on all uh, six holes and take them all out. Um, now everything is out the way, so we could go ahead and like start lifting the valve cover up. So the valve cover is off now, so pretty much all you have to do is just uh, use your plastic pry tool and just stick it on the edge over here, pry it up a little bit, pry it up on this side, and pretty much I worked my way from the front all the way to the back on this side, and then did the same thing on the other side right here. But as you're doing it, make sure that everything is loose and like gently pull up and make sure everything um, is not like obstructed or anything. If it feels like it's uh, snagged or anything, or it's hard to move, stop, use a flashlight, look around, make sure that everything is disconnected. Because sometimes the screws might seem loose, 
um, like say the well, the ones that were uh, not uh, pulled out, they're still stuck on the valve cover. Sometimes they're still in, even though they seem loose. So make sure to jiggle them, make sure they're actually out. So this is the end of today's video, uh, making it part one. Part two will be assembly of everything, which will uh, release either tomorrow or Friday, most likely Friday. Um, pretty much waiting for the valve cover gasket to come, the spark plug and the other gasket for the oil filter housing. So when everything comes in, then I pretty much finish this process. So all I really wanted to do today was make sure I really got the valve cover off and um, nothing crazy was underneath there. So I have to go order more parts. So till next time, no she out.